hey guys welcome back to another video of engineers academy so guys in this video we are going to learn the how bimetallic thermometers works basically and what are the specifications and how the bimetallic thermometer are specified so we will learn the specifications also so guys before going to our today's topic i request you to please consider subscribing so guys subscribe my ch youtube channel engineers academy and learn engineering with all the topics of engineering so guys our channel is completely dedicated to engineers so students teachers working professional for all those our channel is basically dedicated so guys let's begin with our today's topic that is how bimetal thermometers works so guys it is also called known as the bimetal temperature gauge so guys uh, it is the mechanical measurement system in the last video we have seen <coughs> in which this the mechanical arrangement is there in which this particular bimetallic strip which is used so to measure the temperature by the means of this uh, bimetallic helix basically so guys over here in this case this bimetallic strip in the form of helix is used so guys over here in the strip the two dissimilar metals are joined and fused together to form a bimetallic strip and it expands with the increase in the temperature and it deflects the pointer which shows a reading on a scale basically so guys but why this bimetallic strip consists of two different metals why not the single different metal so guys let's go in a history that we have conducted an experiment this is the ball and a ring so guys whenever we heat the ball first of all it can passes through the ring easily and after heating it won't pass through the ring so guys through that particular experiment we can understand a solid expands when heated and contracts when cooled so guys this is the basic principle behind this working of bimetallic temperature gauge so guys whenever if we use a single metallic strip over here in case of bimetallic gauge can gauge comes down quickly to zero whenever if suppose the temperature gets reduced can this pointer comes down quickly to zero the rate of contraction over here matters no this it won't comes over here directly and quickly to zero so that's why guys the bimetallic strip <coughs> which is used so guys in the bimetallic strip there are two different metals having low expansion coefficient and high thermal expansion coefficient so guys these two different dissimilar metals one is used for going temperature up and second is used for going temperature down so guys this is the industrial representation over here this is the how a gauge actually looks like so guys let's uh check out the specifications of this particular temperature gauge the first of all the dial size so as we have seen in the pressure gauges the dial size can be of 2.5 inch 4 inch and 6 inches the temperature range over here is as per the standard the standard which is used over here is en13190 it is the standard for the temperature range the next one is the mounting type so guys the mounting which i have shown over here this is the direct bottom type it can be changed like uh, from the back entry like the horizontal arrangement of the temperature gauge this is the back entry type and the vertical is the direct bottom type it can be of the all angle like it can be viewed from every angle that's why it is known as the every angle type uh, entry over here this vikas gauge is having every angle type so guys this mounting type can be of direct bottom back entry or every angle type so guys moving next is the stem diameter so guys the stem dia can be vary from 6 mm 8 mm and 10 mm guys so over here this is the stem diameter basically thus apart from the stem diameter next is the stem length which can be vary depends upon the requirement of the customer that is from 100 200 and 300 mm 
next is the process connection so guys the process connection is how can we fix this upon our uh, requirement <coughs> or, or the equipment that can be half, half inch BSP or NPT it can be anything that is fixed or adjustable so guys these all are the specifications which are needed to specify this bimetallic temperature gauge so guys over here this glycerin filling is not possible in case of bimetallic temperature gauge so guys over here in this video we have seen the construction or of uh, this bimetallic temperature gauge and the specifications we have seen over here in this video so guys i hope you understand very well how does this bimetallic temperature gauge works so guys don't forget to hit like over here and if you having any doubts and queries please comment below okay and uh, please do share all my videos to the on the social networks to your friends families and to the all the engineers also guys don't forget to subscribe my channel engineers academy guys thank you for watching this guys